going to be a mommy. I'm going to be a mommy. I'm going to be a mommy. Guys, um, my mic is at home. My mic is at home. So apparently, I was having this pain, you know, the whole night. I hope you guys can hear me. My mic is at home. Jesus. I was having this pain the whole night. And then by 7 o'clock this morning, we decided to come to the hospital and then we came to the hospital they found out i was contracting but they needed to check me and i could not stand pain i'm just like no 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 don't check me don't check me every day i can't do this in fact i'm already crying and then um, so long story short we're going to get an elective cs i've already been admitted into the hospital i'm just in my room i will try to vlog this process definitely i don't think i don't think i'll be able to vlog in the theater because um, they won't let anyone with me in the theater but um i'm going to vlog the whole process so right now i'm just in my room my mother has gone home to pack her things i have my stuff here already my mother and my husband has gone home to pack their, their things and then <clears throat> I hope you guys can hear me. Okay, so my mother has gone home to get her stuff. My husband to my husband took her home. They will also bring food for me. It should be happening later this evening. So I'm just here chilling, relaxing. But for now, I'm going to show you guys the room where I am. So this is what the room looks like. Uh, that's the bed I am. It's really really small that's my only concern it's really small this is my box and they don't have a wardrobe and there's a tv that has never come on since <laughs> and then this is literally all the room is like and i just have a problem with the size but well we can get by with this this is the toilet Honestly, it's just a get by situation at this point. We have better ones, but this is what we could afford. So, yeah. I'll be talking through most of this vlog because the tension was really high at the point and I wasn't able to get as much footage as I would have loved. So, this was me getting prepped for surgery so much had gone on which i will explain to you in my delivery story time but this was me getting ready for surgery after this part this was the end i wasn't able to film again until i had come out of surgery Oh my God. Yes, mom is true. The both eyes are open, but it doesn't even look open. Uh, it doesn't look open, especially this. Just start moving down your hand. Uh -huh. Oh, this will help. Share sweat. Mommy, mm -hmm. carry your face. Carry your face. I don't know what you're doing. Here. Why? I'm trying to not put him on my stomach too now. Mm -hmm. I need to find a way to lay down. Waka buta buto buto kota buto kota. This was the second day and I was trying to bond with my baby. I was having so much pain from the incision scar but I was still carrying him regardless. I still wasn't lactating and I was in so much pain at this point but this was all that mattered to me. Just do this. Oh. My mom and my husband have been feeding the baby with formula while I'm in recovery. My saving grace is that he's such a big baby and he does love to eat. Look at his mouth. <laughs> Later that evening, my husband and I are trying to figure out the electric breast pump so we can at least express breast milk for the baby since I cannot put baby to breast yet because of my incision scar and the pain that I'm feeling. 
this was the next day and my mom had gone home to refresh so i was on full-time mommy duty for the very first time although my husband would later join me but right now i'm alone and i'm trying to feed the baby with formula i'm still having pain but it is what it is this is the life i chose <laughs> My husband has now come but the baby is sleeping already so we're just chilling and waiting for him to wake up so he can feed. He's awake now and his daddy's done to feed him. They are just having a father-son moment. <laughs> diaper change time this was just us parenting the whole day while my mom was at home refreshing and sleeping she has been through so much the past couple of days so we told her to go and we're going to handle it and i think we did very well now the baby has slept and i had to take my recovery walk i do this whole way six times just so i can stretch myself from the whole surgery trauma and everything It's Monday and I've been discharged, yay! But before they discharge my baby, they have to run some tests. So this was the lab guy trying to get blood out of him and he was just screaming down the whole place. We need to do some tests like the jaundice test, malaria test and the likes before they can clear us to go home. You guys, the test results are out and my baby is clean. So yeah, we're going home. I'm so excited to see him again crying for food. Foodie. Life's an, an extra life. Oh, this your life. Take care easy. Yeah. There's nobody there. Wait, don't hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Straight out the delivery room. Straight out the delivery room. Okay guys we just pulled up to the house we are finally home and i am so 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 grateful i am going to give you guys the full load down you know how we roll the full gist on my next video i am going to give you guys detail for detail well this is the end of this particular vlog thank you so much guys for being with me through this journey and until my next one be well bye